Likewise, I think you will be fine at your home. You will be safe at your home, isn't it? And also, I am happy to share that our channel has been watched by many viewers and also other school teachers. I am so happy to share this. And also, I suggest you to recommend our channel for your relatives and any person who needs to learn English or who needs to learn something. Have you understood? Okay. Already we have more than 300 subscribers. Uh, we have to improve it. So suggest your relatives also. Okay. Thank you very much. Today we are going to see grammar. We are going to see grammar. In the spelling grammar itself, you are making mistake here. So many of them are writing G R A M M E R. It is wrong. Grammar. G R A M M E R. A R. Okay. Why should we learn grammar? To write in a correct manner. To learn and write the language correctly. So that only we are learning grammar. The grammar itself we are making mistake. We should not make this mistake. The grammar spelling is G R A M M E R. A R. Okay. Today we are going to see the topic active verbs and passive verbs. What topic we are going to see? Active verbs and passive verbs. In Tamil, say it in a say it or the binai. Apni sunlo. Have understood? Ilakaram kaje Tamilly finishli wonder na. We are learning that only. If you know these things in your mother tongue, you will it will it will be very easy to learn and understand. So that only I am teaching in Tamil also. Say it in a say it or the binai. Have you understood? Voice is a form of a verb tells whether the subject of the sentence 
performs or receives the action. In active voice, the subject is the doer of the action. In passive voice, the subject is the receiver of the action. I understood. See, we can see with the example. She makes tea. She makes tea. So what here? She. We are giving importance for the subject. Our tea. Tea pota. We know that part of. Tea is made by her. See here. Our man the tea pota. We can importance put on the sale. We can importance put on. Here. Uh, the tea is the receiver. Here the subject is the receiver of the action. Tea is made by her. See there are certain rules to change active words into passive words. There are certain rules. Rules for changing active words into passive words. We should follow these rules definitely. Have you understood? See the first one. Verb should be transitive. Verb should be transitive. What does mean by transitive? If a sentence has object, if the sentence has object, see here, Ravi is a subject. Ravi is a subject. Caught. Caught me in a little. Pretty good. It's a verb. It is an action. Ravi caught. What? If, if it is answering what or whom? If, if the word is answering to the question what or whom? Ravi caught what? What did Ravi catch? What did Ravi catch? What did he catch? Yeah, he caught a bird. He caught a bird. This is the object. If it is answering for what and who, if it is answering for what and who, this is said to be object. If the sentence has object, then it, it is said to be transitive sentence. If in a sentence, if the sentence has object, the verb has object, then it is said to be transitive verb. So the action, what the Ravi did, passed to the next object. Passed to the next noun. Noun is not, object is nothing but it is also a noun only. Okay. Subject, verb, object. If the sentence has an object, this is said to be transitive sentence. Transitive verb. Then the verb is said to be transitive verb. So to change into passive form, we should need, we should have the uh, transitive verb we should have. We need object. If the sentence did have object, we can't change into passive form. That is very important. First, you have to know, I, you have to identify the subject, verb and object. First, you have to know how to identify the subject, verb and object. See here. The first part of the sentence is subject. The action did by the subject is verb. What, if the word is answering to what or whom, what the subject did, whom the subject has given, if it is answering for that, this is said to be object. Have you understood? This is the short method. If the sentence has object, we can change into passive form. This is the first rule. And the next one, change the subject into object, object into subject. See here, here in the past active form, this is active. This is active form, this is passive form. In the active form, she is the subject here. She makes tea. See here, when we, when we are changing to passive form, what we are doing? The, this is the subject. Makes is a verb. Object is a tea. What, what she makes? Tea. Okay. What does she make? Tea. See here, now what we have to bring? Object comes to the subject place and we have changed the subject into object place. And also we should remind when the she is a subject pronoun. When we are changing into the object place, we have to give object pronoun. Have you understood? She is a subject pronoun. This changed into the object place. We have changed this into object place. So we have to give object pronoun. She object pronoun is her. Have you understood? She. You can't write she here. He is made by she. That is wrong. Blunder also. See, while you are using in the subject place, you have to give subject pronoun. While when you are using in the object place, you have to write only in the object pronoun. Have you understood? She makes tea. The tea is made by her. See, so what is the rule? Verb should be in transitive. Then you have to change the subject into object, object into subject place. When you are using pronoun, you have to use the subject pronoun in the subject place, object pronoun in the object place. Then identify the subject, verb and the object. Then put 
put a suitable auxiliary verb, only B verbs. Auxiliary verbs are three parts. Do you know that? Primary auxiliary, models, semi-models. Primary auxiliary, models, semi-models or quasi-model we say. So in the auxiliary verb, we are, we are going to take only B words. We are going to take only B words. What are the B words we have? Auxiliary verbs is nothing but helping words. What are the B words we have? A is R. A is R. For present. Was, where. Was, where. For past tense. B, for continuous tense. B, for perfect tense. B, for continuous tense. B, for perfect tense. These are the B words. And also B, B we will use this B for uh, future tense. We have to use this B for future tense. B verbs are A, is, or for present tense. Was, were for past tense. B for continuous tense. B for perfect tense. And this B for future tense. Only future tense. Then change the verb into past participle. Already we have the verb. See here. What is the verb? What is the verb here? Makes. The verb is makes. It is in the present tense. It is in the present tense. Makes does for present tense. Now we are changing the object here. T. Object comes here. T. It is a singular. So we are taking the auxiliary verb B verbs. Singular means we have to take. It is a present tense. This is present tense. So what we have to take? We have to take from A is R. We have to take one from this. T is singular. So I am taking is. So I am taking is. I have written is here. This is the correct one. We have taken the auxiliary verb. And the main verb should be the past participle. This word. Change the verb into past participle. In the third column. What is the past participle for may? May. May. This is past tense. And also may. Past participle also may. So then you should give importance for other forms of verbs. You have to learn more other forms of verbs. Not only in regular verbs, irregular verbs. You have to give importance for irregular verbs also. Say may, may, may. Say past participle also may only. So I have written may here. We have changed the object into subject. According to this subject we have given the auxiliary verbs. Then we have changed the main verb into past participle. And see here, we also pronounce should change, should be changed. Pronounce should be changed. Okay. That's what we have changed. Pronoun, object pronoun, we have changed here. Add the preposition by. Add the preposition by. That's what we do. Add see here, we have used the preposition by. Our all, then by varanam. T is made by her. T is made by her. Uh, have you understood? These are the rules we have to follow. Have you understood or not? These are the rules we have to follow. First one, the verb should be transitive. Then we have to change subject into object, object into subset. Then we have to identify, first of all, we have to identify the sentence. Whatever sentence, they make you object also. Object is nothing but it is addition part of the sentence. Have you understood? This is nothing but addition part of the sentence. You keep it as it is. You keep as it is. Have you understood? See here. Verb should be transitive. Change the subject into object. Identify the subject verb and object. Put the suitable auxiliary verb. Be verbs. Present tense am, is, are. Past form was, were. Continuous tense we have to add be. Perfect tense we should have to add be. Change the verb into past participle. Pronoun should be changed. Add the preposition by. These are the rules. Have you understood? Shall we see some more examples here? See here. Example 1. Mother made a cake yesterday. Okay. What we have to do, do first? First we have to give the pattern. So I am going to give the pattern. I am going to identify the pattern. Mother is a Subject. What? May. It's an action. So, verb. It is in the past form. Verb is in the past form. Mother made. What did he make? What? It is answering the question. What? A cake. 
a cake. What mother makes? A cake. It is an object. At yesterday, denoting the time. Denoting the time. So, it is an action. It is an action. Action is nothing but additional part of the sentence. Action is nothing but additional part of the sentence. So, a cake. I have changed the object into subject place. Please keep the object as it is. Okay. A cake was see again made is a past tense. A cake is a singular. A cake is a singular. So we have to write was. Okay, children. Let us see with some more examples. Okay. See here. The first example is mother made a cake. Yesterday, mother made a cake. Yesterday, first, what we have to do? We have to identify the pattern. We have to give sentence pattern. See, mother is a subject. Mother is a subject. Made. Made is a verb. The action did by mother. Okay. Verb. It is in the past form. We have to see that one. It is very important. Made is a past tense. A cake. What did mother make? What did mother make? A cake. So the a cake is giving answer for what? What? Who? Obtain the answer. One thali. That one. You guys are object. Da. Have you understood? This is the shortcut to learn. Mother made a cake. It is mentioning the time, denoting the time. So it is an adjunct. It is an adjunct. Okay. So adjunct is nothing but it is addition part of the sentence. It may remain same. We we need not to change that accent at all. Okay. Mother made a cake yesterday. So what is the rule? First we have given the pattern and also we identified the verb. It is a past form. It is in past form. Then we know what is the object. Now we have to change the object into subject place. Subject into object place. That's the rule. And also we have to give the suitable auxiliary. Verb. Then the main verb should be in the uh, past participle. Main verb should be in the past participle. That's what we are going to do. A cake. So object we have written in the subject place. Cake. The object comes to subject place. A cake. Now we have. This is the subject for us. The passive form. The cake is the subject. Whether it is singular or plural, we have to see that. See here. It is a singular. A yeah? cake. Singular. And also past form singular takes was. What is the auxiliary verb for past form singular? Was. So a cake was. Main verb is in the past participle. Already we said made, made, made. Made is the past participle here. A cake was made. We have to use the conjunction by by mother. So write this yesterday as it is. Addition part of the sentence. Adjoin. So. We need not to change that one. Have you understood? See here, mother made a cake yesterday. A cake was made by mother yesterday. Amma cake saidal. Cake amma wal saiya patadu. Have you understood? That's all. Saiy vinay, saiy baate vinay. I will do my work. I will do my work. See here. First, what we have to give pattern. Yeah, I is a subject. Will do. It is a verb in future. Future tense. Verb is in future form. I will do my work. What? What will I do? I'll do my work. So my work is a object. My work is a object. As usual, we have to change the object into subject. Subject into object. See for future form, we have to use that will. We have to use the model will as it is. Addition to that, we are we are using the be verbs. What we have learned, we have to give suitable auxiliary verbs, be verbs. Especially only we are using be verb in the passive forms. Already will is here. What we are adding, we are giving auxiliary verb be verbs. That is for future tense, we have to use be. We have to use B and the main verb should be in the past participle. Do is a see here. Do it is a present. Did past done is the past.
past participle done is the past participle do did done that's what here i will do my work my work here there is no subject verb agreement for only for present tense only we have to use present tense and uh, past continuous only we have to use, see the subject verb agreement here there is no subject verb agreement so will means will only my work will be done by subject pronoun i what is the object pronoun for i me object pronoun for i is me my work will be done by me my work will be done by me this is a rule for future tense ma next see here continuous tense this is for continuous tense present continuous what it is present continuous see here for present tense i have given example here this is for present tense she makes tea tea is made by her we have to use the auxiliary verb is or am am is or only this is for present tense here i have given for past tense i have given for past tense this is for future tense now we are going to see for present continuous this is for present continuous have you understood see as usual we have to give the pattern they is a subject or playing is a verb in present continuous or playing verb is in present continuous what are they playing what are they playing what it is answering the question what cricket they are playing cricket so it is an object they are playing cricket subject verb object as usual object comes to subject place see here here listen carefully they it is a subject plural third person plural so what we are taking or when we are changing object into subject cricket it is not a plural it is a singular cricket so we have to take the singular verb according to that we have to say when object comes to subject you have this is the subject for passive form so according to this subject you have to take the verb auxiliary verb so here they or cricket is singular we are using is why are why we are using or and is because it is in the present form not in the past form if it is past continuous we have to use was or were this is present plural we are taking or singular so we are taking is so cricket is already i said for continuous tense extra be verb being we have to add, add. see here for, for for ing we are using be keep it in your mind like this this is ing we have to change this ing verb into uh, past participle so we are using this being likewise you keep it in your mind you remind it okay cricket is being played by they subject pronoun them object pronoun have you understood cricket is being played by them have you understood all of you see here or playing because this is plural but we have changed cricket here this is singular so is we have to give that a suitable auxiliary verb being for continuous tense not only present continuous for past continuous also cricket is being played by them have you understood so likewise see in the past continuous see here the tiger was chasing the deer the tiger is a subject the tiger is the subject was chasing verb see here was chasing so past continuous the verb is in the past continuous the tiger was chasing uh, what what was the tiger chasing the deer the deer is an object the deer is an object the tiger was chasing the deer see the deer um uh, see here as usual this is the tiger also singular the deer also singular so the deer was as usual being for continuous tense what auxiliary verb we have to take being was being chased by the tiger the tiger was being chased by the tiger have you understood have you understood shall we see with two objects 
we have two object direct object and indirect objects shall we see that one direct object indirect object see here john gave john gave a banana to jill john gave a banana to jill see here john is a subject john is a subject gave is a action so verb what tense gave past tense past past tense john gave what did he give a banana so object to whom did he give to whom see here in the same sentence we are getting the question what and whom we are getting answer for the question what and whom so this is also object only have you understood john gave a banana to jill what did john give banana so this banana is answering the question what what so it is a direct object so it is direct object it is a direct object whom did he give whom yaarukku kodutha jillukku kodutha so it is an indirect object it is an indirect object d o i o have you understood john gave a banana to jill see here two object in the same sentence nothing to worry we can use this object as a subject or this object, object as a subject shall we change this see here first i am using the direct object a banana see here the verb is in the past form so we have to take was or were only only past form we have to take was or were so banana is singular so what we have to take yes was a banana was what is the past participle for gave past participle of gave see here give gave given give gave given a banana was given a banana was given by john by john to jill have you understood banana janal jill ith kodukapattathu have you understood a banana was given by john to jill have you understood so if i am using jill if, if i am using jill as a subject see here jill same jill also singular was given jill was given a banana jill was given a banana by john both are same you can change anything is correct you can use any object as a subject have you understood a banana was given by john to jill jill was given a banana by john have you understood i hope children that you have understood these are all only assertive sentence okay only for assertive sentence we we shall see the interrogative sentence and imperative sentence in the next class okay and your assignment is you have to um, you have to work out more examples from your books a ninth standard books eighth standard books even in eighth standard books also there you have to collect more examples and you have to work out have you understood